And so we know that the School of Prophets is found in the Old Testament, but there's also a School of the Prophets implicitly discovered in the New Testament. Um, before um, we talk about Paul's giving of training prophets, we want to deal with John the Baptist. We know that he came out of the intertestamental period, but also the Bible tells us that John the Baptist was a rabbi. His, his disciples called him teacher. Before John the Baptist released his disciples to Jesus, they, they called him rabbi. So that means that even though John the Baptist was a prophet, he was also a teacher. And if he was a teacher, that means he had a school of disciples that he taught how to know the things of God. And now we know that he's an eschatological prophet. So we see there John the Baptist had a school of the prophets. And then also the apostles, they trained prophets. Because we discovered this in 1 Corinthians 14. Paul gives certain instructions to the company of prophets. And we're not, we're not seeing the company of prophets emerge in some churches today. The danger is because I think that prophets, they, 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 some of them don't know the importance of how to be taught in school. And so whenever there's a company of prophets, there's always a school. So I believe that prophets need to be prophesying in companies and in schools in the local church. How beneficial, how beneficial is that, Elder Jason, for a company of prophets to prophesy in the local ecclesia the church? I think it's very important because we think about why well, people, some people are already scared of prophecy and prophets and they think that, well, all we need is the Bible only, we don't need anything else. I think what happens is that people begin to miss out on what God really wants to do in that, in that period of time. I think when we don't when we don't see prophets there, when we see prophets there, when there's a local company of prophets there, then the church can be edified, the church can be comforted, and the church can be exhorted. So now it gives them a space where now they're able to move into the spirit of God and move in what God wants to do in that, mo in that time period. And able to direct the church because we know the prophet, the, the, the prophetic office is one of the governing parts of the church. So now when we have a school of prophets there, that the church can now move in this full fivefold ministry and begin to express the will of God in that specific household, not only for what the God's leading the individual church, but also for the people who are there who are part of it, that God wants to begin to reveal himself to them and show them what he's called them to do in this season. All right, God.